Hey everybody, this is Indie Geek, and today I'm taking a look at Vagant. This is currently an alpha, and you can download it at the link in the description below, and uh, give it a shot for yourself. It's from Nuke9Games, and basically it is kind of a retro-inspired, kind of side-scrolling roguelike in a way. Uh, it'll make more sense when we go on here. Uh, first thing I wanted to do, I guess, yeah, so you cannot leave the edges here. I guess I was just curious. Um, I have not done very well ever with this game yet. I've played like not super long because um, I was, you know, basically I was just testing out the game to see that it worked. Um, so, you know, maybe like 10 or 15 minutes or so before getting ready to record this video. Uh, that being said, like what you can see here going on is that we, uh, you know, we can side scroll, we can jump a little, we've got our attack. Pretty much only have like one attack. We don't have like heavy and light attacks or anything. Um, I will play some as the other character too. It uh, looks like there's a third character as well, but I have not unlocked that character. Okay, this would be a good time to level up. Uh, we do get kind of like skills as we level up, things like that. And that was what you just saw me spend there. Um, we gain gold. We gain uh, armor, as you can see. Uh, sometimes items as well. So this is a shimmering tunic, which I will go ahead and do. So attackers will sometimes be poisoned. It lowers our cold defense, but considering where we're at in the game, it doesn't seem like that big of a hit. Ethereal boots. Face to the floor. What does that mean? Oh, that means I can drop through. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Okay, this looks like a trap because that's going to be an enemy. Obviously, I've seen that enemy before. Otherwise, I would not have been ready for that. And we've got a big chest which takes a key. Okay, interesting. I've not seen that before. Um, so, you know, I guess if you are... Wow. Okay, we do take falling damage, as you can see. And, uh, it hurts. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, if somehow you were, like, unaware of what it means for this game to be a roguelike, if that is how we're gonna call it, I know some people are... Are you gonna heal me or something? Nothing? Oh, I can carry her on my back. That's cute. And we can both die by landing in the, um little pit there. Great. Uh, basically it means every time we play it's going to be a different layout. So you can see we're in a different layout now. Um, still the same area but we're in a different layout. So uh, I would call that character the one I just played as like maybe like the warrior class sort of. Um, and this is more of like a thief class. You know we've got like a dagger. We're much faster. We can attack at a faster pace, things like that. So, um, you know, there are definitely advantages and disadvantages to each. It all just kind of depends on your playstyle. Personally, I prefer the other character. Scroll of Magic Mapping. Okay, let's use it. So, now you can see that we can see the uh, whole map here, which is kind of nice, although I'm still going to die soon, most likely. Okay, and then I can go in here and show you that I do have different um, abilities with this character than with the other character. But yeah, I knew I was going to die there. Um, yeah, so I mean, that's that's kind of like what's going on here as far as like a base kind of gameplay. I'm not sure how much is here, obviously, because I'm really bad. So I haven't been able to get very far. But I think what is here, okay, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I think what is here to start with is really, really good. Like the fact that this is an alpha is kind of crazy um, because we're seeing a lot of like these roguelikes come out now, maybe in this state at release. So it is kind of refreshing to see something so early on look this good already because it just means that it's going to get better. Okay. A little trapped here. Uh, it is definitely difficult, so. You know, if you are into 
you know, some difficult gameplay, this will definitely satisfy what you're looking for, I think. Um, there are shops, which is why I'm making a point of picking up a bunch of money. And we can also jump on enemy heads, although sometimes that hurts us, so don't want to do that too much. Um, yeah, the other thing, of course, that you can tell is that I'm just very bad. But, uh, you know, like I said, I think that that's kind of like all the gameplay elements here. Um, one of the things that like really makes this game stand up for me is um, the art. I think it just looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, you know, it's got like this really kind of, you know, it's definitely pixelated, but is this going to do what I want it to? Can I, I can't go check that effect, apparently. Oh, it is. It's healing me. That's really nice. Um, yeah, but like all the all the, the sprites and stuff have like a really crisp look to them, and they give off a lot of detail, I think. And um, oh, so here's a shop. I, I haven't figured out how to buy things from a shop. It's, oh, okay. So all I can afford, I could buy the potion. This, I, I think I, oh, let's, yeah, let's do that. Uh, you can attack a shopkeeper, which I'm assuming has the same kind of effect as, like, Splunky. So what does this one do? I have no idea. I may have just spent money on something. It doesn't give me any real use. That is, um, the danger with, like, a roguelike game like this. Is that, you know, part of... The, the time consuming part of the game, of course, is actually learning what things do. But yeah, like I said, I think the art is, is really one of the, the best aspects of the game right now. Oh, okay, this part sucks. So we've got this crazy, like, big ass worm guy. And he is kind of a dick. Actually, he's really a dick. And he will, like, mess us up. Um, I did fight this guy once in my testing of the game, and uh, it didn't go great. So I'm expecting pretty similar results here. Oh, I killed him though! Okay, so I got the treasure key. Obviously not very useful to me if I can't find the treasure chest. so close to dying. That's no good. Um, oh, thank you for getting out of my way. Oh, I don't like this area. Yep, I'm dead. Oh, man. Well, uh, I think we'll start another run. We won't finish it. But, um, I guess the last thing to mention, of course, is that the, uh, you know, I think the music is really fitting for the game as well. It's got a nice soundtrack so far. Um, I would say I'd want more variety, but I'd feel bad for saying it because I haven't made it farther in the game. And I'm imagining that there's probably some more areas after this one. Uh, of course, that last one was the closest I've gotten. But I would also imagine with those new areas probably comes new music. So, uh, yeah, I guess I wouldn't say, like... Uh, you know, I wouldn't say that there's, like, not a variety, unless this is the only music in the game right now. But I can't say that for certain, so I won't. Okay, weird. It looked like I equipped it, but I guess not. Okay, here's a shop again. I guess I can go look at the shop. I probably can't afford anything. But, yeah, I think, like, what's here is really, really good. Uh, it already kind of feels like a, a full game, honestly, which is pretty wild. So I guess I would, um, yeah, I guess I would, I would suggest definitely checking this out for yourself, uh, seeing what you think about it, and you know, giving it a shot. Uh, there's definitely a lot to do here already. Yeah, yeah, this is probably a pretty good spot to stop, I think, but. Yeah, I would say that, like, I feel like there's a lot to do here already, considering, 
it's alpha. And I would definitely recommend giving this one a go. Um, you know, and keeping up with the blog, seeing what happens with this as it progresses and hopefully, you know, adds stuff and gets to a full release at some point in the future. But I think that's all I've really got to talk about for it today. So, as always, feel free to leave comments. If there's anything that you'd like to comment about, subscribe to the channel to see more videos every single day from me. And, of course, if you liked my video on Vagant, then please do consider clicking the like button. But with that... Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.